All right, welcome back, guys. This is Alex from TechCares.com. I am returning with another unboxing video. I'm not sure I'm going to do a podcast this week. I'm heading to IFA next week uh, for uh, IFA 2024, so I'll be gone in Berlin. So I won't have much content going on video or podcasting for next week. Uh, and I've been busy. I've been busy with a lot of different uh, reviews. So got something special today. This is the ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 Hybrid from Lenovo. Uh, I, I, very interesting. Uh, and I am going to say that uh, I'm, I've, I've entitled this uh, video as an unboxing. But uh, to be fair, uh, the box that this thing comes in is pretty large. So I've already unboxed it. And I've actually set it up just because... Um, I wanted to um, make this um, a little bit easier so I can actually kind of go over and demo it a little bit. And this is not going to be a, um in-depth review or demo. It's just going to be an overview. Um, but this is an interesting, interesting piece of hardware. And it's only going to come in one SKU. And we'll pop back over to the browser window. This is the ThinkBook Plus Gen 5. Now they have a retail price of $35.18 which seems pretty hefty. Um, I think when they announced this, this was in a little bit over $2,000 what they were predicting it to sell for. So I'm not sure if this is a accurate price. But uh, essentially what this is, is a Windows 11 PC, 14 inch um, married with Android. So you are able to use the um, laptop as a laptop, as a Windows 11 laptop, and then you can take the, the display off and use that as an Android tablet. Very interesting. You can still use the keyboard and you can use it as an Android tablet. Um, but yeah, that, that's what it is. It's a hybrid. Very, very interesting concept. I know that they've had a couple of these before, but I, I hadn't had a chance to look at them. And um, this is my first look. And I got to say, out of the box, uh, when I, once I unpack this thing, it's very nicely built. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but look at that. This is all aluminum. That machining on this, on this laptop is fantastic. And this is a camera shutter button. And then your volume rocker up here for the Android tablet. But this is just phenomenally machined and very nicely done, in my opinion. It's a little heavy, I'll say, um, but it is very, very nice. Uh, this is venting here. Um, and then your speakers for the, tr for the tablet. Well, I don't know if the speakers I haven't. Now, again, this is my first time... I just got this uh, maybe an hour ago and I set everything up. So everything is, this is all fresh for me too. Your uh, Thunderbolt 4, I'm assuming, USB-C right there. And then it uh, uh, looks like an antenna of some sort there. And your power button right here. And this is on the left side of the laptop. And going over here, you'll have the headphone jack, another antenna, more venting. And another USB-C Thunderbolt 4 Pro. I'm assuming we'll look at the tech specs in a minute. Port. And then the speakers again. Um, and then the bottom is just your typical Lenovo bottom chassis. Looks very, very, very familiar. Nothing of significance there. And the back uh, looks like more venting back here. And then your hinge. And then there's uh, the mounting point for this top portion, which we call the display or tablet portion, is right up there. But first impressions when I opened this up was, wow, that is a, a very lovely looking laptop. That in, But it is heavy. I will give you that. It is very heavy. So um, let's look at some specs real quick and then we'll open this guy up. Again, this is only coming in one SKU and that's this one here. So what you're gonna, what you see, is what you get. And let's see here. Let's go with tech specs. All right. 
And what's in the box? You, you get the Think Plus uh, Gen 5 hybrid 14-inch station and tablet. A 100-watt AC adapter, USB-C tip. Uh, Lenovo Tab Pen Plus, so you do get a pen. We'll show you that in a second. Uh, the universal easel stand, which I have here too. I will show that to you. A uh, quick start guide. And again, this box is huge. I mean, it was it was too big to fit on my on my desk here, so I, that's why I just un unboxed it ahead of time. This thing is rocking an Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor. The Core Max 3.8. Oh, gigahertz P Core Max uh, 4.8 gigahertz with Turbo Boost. 16 cores, 22 threads, 24 megabits cache. Uh, Windows 11 Pro is on it, and the graphics processor is the Intel Arc GPU, and it's rocking 32 gigabits, uh, 32 gigabytes of uh, LPDDR-X5 uh, dual-channel uh, RAM, so very good on the RAM. One uh, has a one terabyte uh, M.2 PCIe Gen 4, 2280 compatible SSD in it, so very good storage, uh, and uh, the battery is a 75 watt, 75 watt hour battery. And it supports rapid charge. Um, audio 2x2 two two speakers by Harman Kardon. Um, dual, array mi dual array mics. Uh, ports and slots. It has two, like I said, Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 4. That's exactly what I said. Uh, two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. A headphone mic combo. And blah, 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 blah. Uh, Wi-Fi 6E. Would have been nice to have Wi-Fi 7 on a newer, newer device like this. But it, it is what it is. Bluetooth 5.3. Um... You uh, supporting dock, USB-C, Thunderbolt 4 dock. All right, the keyboard's backlit, blah, blah, blah. Um, power supply, okay, blah, blah. Uh, there's your dimensions. You can stop and and stop the video and look through this if you want. Now, on the tablet side, now, this that is just the PC side. So that's the bottom portion of this. Uh, the upper display portion actually houses the tablet insides, which also have tech specs. And that's rocking the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 mobile platform running Android 13 with Lenovo ZUI, uh, I mean, excuse me, yeah, ZUI 15.1 interface, and it is upgradable to Android 14, which is nice. That's nice, for especially for a price tag like this. Um, pretty hefty. Um, Qualcomm Adreno GPU, And um, this is also, the, the, the Android side of it has 12 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM and storage of 256 UFX 3.1 on the, on the Android tablet portion. So you, you have, you, you essentially have two, two um, pieces of hardware here. You have a Windows PC with all the cool, with all the, the great specs that come with it, but you also have an Android tablet with some pretty nice specs of its own. Um, and they, they work in, they work together and, um, I'm not quite sure yet how everything flows and how the workflow happens. And there are things that you, um, special things you can do with this. And I still got to get through all that. So I'm not going to go over that today because that is just, it, it'll be impossible for this, uh, first look unboxing, uh, it has a camera. Of course, the front camera is 1080p rear is 13 megapixel autofocus with a five megapixel wide. All right, uh, power button, smart connector, uh, USB-C. It does have a USB-C port on the on the bottom that connects to the actual keyboard. So you have a proprietary connector that connects to the keyboard, uh, to the to the Windows portion of the of the device, and then you have the USB um, C portion, which you can you can use to do certain things with. Um, let's see here. Uh, wireless, okay, uh, again, Wi-Fi 6, but that is on the actual tablet, so both the wireless and the, and the, um, both wireless, uh, on, on the, on the Windows laptop and on the Android tablet are the same. Uh, it's got a 2.8K OLED display, which is the same as what, uh, the, um, Windows one has all right let's take a look at some of these features real quick and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna show you the actual thing the actual thing it says flex your power and uh, personality with dynamic commuting powerful laptop mode so you're able to you know 
Yeah, I mean, it's a hybrid. It's what it is. You can move between Android and and uh, and Windows. It's pretty dang cool. Um, pretty fun. So, all right, let me pop back over because this is enough. I'll, I'll, I'll link this down below so you can go over everything at your leisure and uh, look at all the, the ins and outs and features and whatnot. So, there it is. There it is right there. So that's Windows right there, Windows 11. And um, let me, if you just push this button right here, this little button right here, and it shows you there's, there's a Windows and an Android. If you push that, it'll pop over to Android, which the brightness on this is very, very bright. Let me, uh, when I when I do these videos, if I don't, Oops, wrong one. Let's see here. There we go. All right, there we are. That's better. So there it is. That is that is your Android interface. And I have not set anything up here. I have not downloaded apps. I have not put anything on here. This is just what comes out of the box. And uh, it looks pretty clean. Safety, I'm looking for junk apps. Sometimes they install a lot of junk apps, but it looks like it's all Google apps and a few Lenovo odds and ends. Um, but it, it, there it is. It's just Android. It's, it's a big Android tablet, 14 inch. Uh, what's really nice about this, this is kind of, if you're looking at a Samsung tablet, but you, you need a PC as well, you can get this and get your, because this, this display is really nice uh I, you know when i was setting it up i was looking looking at it it's a 2.8k and the brightness on it is uh, off the charts it's really nice um but lenovo's been doing really well with their displays displays lately so uh i got no complaints here so let's uh let's demo the the old okay so if you have it in this position this will not detach so it will it'll stay on I guess it locks it in place somehow. And same thing if you do it here. It won't come off. It has to be at a certain angle and generally like that. So you just pull on it and it pops right off. And there you are. There is your Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 tablet. And on the bottom of that, you have um, the pr pr proprietary connector here. And then that USB-C right here, which uh, will transfer into that into that portion here. So let me put this down and switch over here. So there's there's the proprietary connector and a couple of I feel like plastic uh, pins, and they they you know they go pivot with the display when you have it docked. So. Keyboard. I played with the keyboard a little bit. I'm not a fan right now. This is not your typical Lenovo keyboard. I, f I feel like it's uh, it's lacking something. Trackpad is nice. It's the diving board style, but it, it works okay. Um, the, the gestures and taps feel fine, so I don't feel like I have to actually push down on it, on it to use the actual diving board. So it's not a huge deal to me. Um, but that uh, Surface 7 that I just used, that I've been using, is fantastic. And everybody should have that. Um, every Windows machine should have that trackpad. All right, let's put this back on. So it just goes back on like so. It'll line up, and then you can just push down. And once it docks, what it does, it goes back to Windows. So now we're back in Windows. And it has Windows Hello and all that. So that is the laptop, and then you get the pen with it. And to be honest with you, I I don't ever I, I don't use these things. Uh, I'm not, I don't draw on tablets. Um, I don't take notes. But hey, if that's your bag, man, there it is. It's for you to use. Let me pull out the easel, and this is just interesting. So there it is. It's just a stand, basically. And what this purpose of this is, and this pivots back like this. 
So the purpose of that is if you want to use that in a, you can detach this and use it and put it up here and have it, um, the keyboard somewhere else and be able to still use the tablet and it kind of, a uh, let's just remove it. I'd say it takes a, takes a, um, a little bit of, let's see, talk to Google with the power button. No, I don't want to do that. No, you don't want, I don't want your help. Go away. Huh. Okay. So it takes a little bit of finagling and a little bit of practice to get, um, the, uh, to get to remove it properly and not uh, like the first couple times I tried because I tried to off camera before I started the video because I wanted to didn't want to look like an idiot. <laughs> so anyway, you, you have to get over the nerves of potentially breaking it because uh, that that was my first thought is I'm going to break this thing. I'm going to break this thing. Um, but um, you have to just take it easy and kind of play with it. And then once you're there, you're there, right? So they are. Now, oh, I think I turned it off. There we go. And let's see. I can't recognize me because of... It doesn't recognize me because my microphone's in the way. So, there it is. That is the ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 Hybrid uh, with Intel Core Ultra 7 Arc Intel Arc GPU, and it's an Android tablet as well. It's very cool, guys. It's expensive, but it's very, very cool. And that hardware is astoundingly cool and very nicely made. It is, I got to say, heavy. Uh, and I've said it more than a couple times. It is heavy. Um, even the, the tablet alone, when you take it off, is heavy. It's all metal, all aluminum, and um, yeah, that is it. Yeah, you guys tell me in the comments below what you think of the ThinkBook. What do you think of the ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 Hybrid? Would you buy this? Is this something you would use? Um, it's very interesting, i got to say. Cool, interesting. It was a fun unboxing. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I will be posting this up and I'll be heading out to uh, Berlin to IFA next week and hopefully have some content out of there as I can get it out and when I get home for sure to have some stuff out and excited to uh, see some new um, gear, uh, some new tech gear and new stuff out there at IFA. Excited to be out there and uh, be part of that again. I've only been there one time. This is my second time, so super excited, nervous and excited, but We'll get, we'll get through it. Thanks uh, for watching this video. Please, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, you know, leave a like. Uh, share. Sharing is the biggest thing for me right now. If I can get everybody to be sharing my content, sharing the website, uh, that is massively helpful since Google has locked us out of their algorithm. It's nice to be able to use you guys, uh, have you guys share our stuff um, more widely so that we can... Uh, gain back our audience so hey guys you guys have it's it's a friday and uh you guys have a great friday have an awesome and fantastic weekend be blessed and uh, we will talk to you on the other side